After many disappointments, Washington, D.C. officials believe they're closer than ever to gaining statehood for the nation's capital. Our political and government reporter Leonard N. Fleming is here. And Leonard, city officials told you today they feel pretty optimistic. Mayor Muriel Bowser has a special advisor dedicated to this very issue. She thinks the district may finally hit pay dirt, but there's more arm twisting in the Senate to come. D.C. statehood has been an elusive prospect, but with the presidency and Congress in Democratic hands, the Bowser administration thinks this is its best shot. Beverly Perry is the mayor's senior advisor and lobbyist on the issue. It's been discussed for over 220 years. Yes, that's a very long time. But why now? <clears throat> this is the closest we've ever been. We have had a hearing in the House, passed the House, first time it's ever passed one of the halls of Congress, and now we're in the Senate. We've had a hearing in the Senate, and all we need is mark up and go to the floor. We are that close. The selling point? Giving the Democrats more votes with abortion and voting rights being rolled back by Republicans. America need us to be there. And why now? Because democracy is on the ballot. On November 8th, democracy is on the ballot. When I tell you the strategy is for women rights, abortion is women rights. This is the first time in American history that statehood has been part of the democracy agenda. Democracy for Americans can be delivered if Washington, D.C. residents are treated fairly and made whole. The $2 million push by the district will begin after the midterm elections in November. Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton sponsored the approved House bill. We are very close to making D.C. statehood a reality. I've gotten the bill passed in the House twice. Every Democrat voted for the bill. We're closer than ever to making the district the 51st state. Norton says having two extra Democratic senators helps, too. Is that part of the selling point in, in trying to get them over the finish line on this? That may be the strongest point to get two senators, but we are, we, the member from the Congress, that's me, would also have a full voting uh, right in, in the House. For so many in D.C., statehood is personal. My son is a Bronze Star medalist from Desert Storm. He doesn't have a senator. It's personal for me. It's personal for this city, but I'm here on the behalf of this city. This mayor said, we have to do this now. Now is the time. Our democracy issues have never been challenged the way they are now. District officials are convinced that tying statehood to the country's anger over abortion and voting rights is the panacea to success. They also contend there are four senators that still need convincing, including West Virginia Democrat Joe Manchin. Statehood would be history made if achieved. Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now.